Hello friends and welcome to AK Agrawal Aptitude Series. Friends, in this session we are going to learn a technique for solving a problem on reasoning aptitude. Here the given problem is 25 persons are in a room, 15 of them play hockey, 17 of them play football and 10 of them play both hockey and football. The number of persons playing neither hockey nor football is. There are 25 persons, 15 th uh, of them play hockey, 17 play football and 10 play both the hockey and football. So how many student doesn't play any game? So friends to answer this question, first let us draw a circle which represents the students who plays hockey. These students in yellow color, they play hockey, okay, another game is football. Let us draw another circle, this circle represents football, the students who are playing football. Only yellow represents the students who are playing only hockey. Only red represents students those who are playing only football and this section represents those who are playing football and hockey. If X students are playing only hockey, Y is playing only football and Z students are playing hockey and football both. Then from the given information we can form different equations. 15 of them play hockey. It means X plus Z because total number of students who are those who are playing hockey are X and Z. X plus Z is equal to 15. 17 of them play football means Y plus Z. These are the students. Only football football plus hockey so number of students playing football is equal to y plus z is equal to 17 10 of them play both hockey and football means these students play both hockey and football so z is equal to 10 if we solve these three equations we get x is equal to 5 y is equal to 7 and z is equal to 10 of course we get so he is asking number of persons playing neither hockey nor football is now x plus y plus z is equal to 22 it means out of 22 students some students are playing only hockey some of the students are playing only football and some of the students are playing both hockey and football but total 22 students are playing any one of the game total 25 persons are there so number of persons who are not playing any game is equal to 25 minus 22 is equal to 3 so answer is so friends in the in the same series let us solve few more problems if we see another problem in a class of 155 150 students 55 speak English 85 speak Telugu and 30 speak neither English nor Telugu how many speak both English and Telugu so now this is another form of question 150 students 55 speak English, 85 speak Telugu and 30 speak neither English nor Telugu. So to answer this question, first let us draw a circle. This circle represents the students who are speak in English. This circle represents who speak Telugu. So this yellow portion represents only English. Green, the students who are speaking only Telugu and this common section represents who are speaking English as well as Telugu. So if I say this is Angli uh, X students are speaking only English, Y students is speaking only Telugu and Z students are speaking English and Telugu both. So now here if you see 150 students are there and 30 speak neither English nor Telugu. So under consideration only 120 students will be there just this is the most important point of this problem 30 students do not speak any language and out of 150 30 students are not speaking anything it means total 120 students are speaking any one of the language and we have to find out number of students who are speaking both english and telugu such students are z so let us write the equations x plus y plus z is equal to 120 because 120 students are speaking either of the language okay uh, a 55 speak english it means x plus z is 55 85 speak telugu means y plus z is 85 solving these three equations we get x 35 y 65 and z 20 it means 20 students are speaking both english and 
Telugu. So answer is twenty. So friends, this was another type of problem in the same series. Let us solve one more problem in this series. In a survey, it was found that twenty percent of the families have a car, fifty percent have a TV, and fifteen percent have both. What percent of families do not have a car or TV? So this is another type of problem in the same series. Again, let us draw the circle, which represents the families who have car, car and TV. Another circle, the families those who have TV. This common portion indicates those who are having car as well as TV. So if this is X, TV is Y, and here it is Z. Now let us go statement wise. Twenty percent families have a car, means they are having only car. And they are having car plus TV, so X plus Z is 20 percent because 20 families have a car. This represents the car. X plus Z is 20. 50 percent have a TV. It means Y plus Z is equal to 50. 15 percent have both. Means Z is equal to 15. If we solve these equations, we get X is equal to 5, Y is 35, and Z 15. We want to know what percent of families do not have a car or TV. So, if we add these three, five, thirty-five, and fifteen, it becomes fifty-five. It means fifty-five percent families having car or TV. If we subtract hundred minus x plus y plus z, we'll get number of of families. Those do not have car or TV, so 100 minus x plus y plus z is equal to 45. It means 45 percent of the families doesn't have either car or TV. So, friends, thank you very much for watching this video. You can also follow me on Facebook.